Okay, so this video is designed to go over the different options for Microsoft Dynamics RMS point of sale users. So a quick outline here is, first of all, you know, why, why do you need to be looking at different options? And uh, you know what sort of course of action should you be taking? A few basic assumptions, we'll dive into the options, go over a basic summary, and then look at what the logical next steps are. So, why should you be looking at a course of action? Well, we've got a couple of things going on. First of all, we've got our EMV liability shift date coming up, which is October 1st, 2015 in the United States for card present transactions. And we have the end of life status for RMS. And so you kind of have to be looking at, are you looking at, you know, investing in a short term fix for your point of sale system? Or are you looking for long term? Long term, of course, being, you know, something that's going to go for the next uh, five to seven years. So we're going to make some assumptions here. First of all, I'm going to assume that you're using version two or higher of RMS in any sort of setting, because I've worked with folks, you know, it's not just retail and museums and pet stores and thrift shops, thrift stores, gift shops, etc., but also a lot of government entities that use RMS to some capacity. I'm going to assume that you're located in the US or Canada and that you're using the EDC settings in RMS admin to process debit and credit card transactions. Uh, and I'll explain how that plays into the different options and things like that. Really, for this particular video and the recommendations and the options, it doesn't matter if you're current on your annual software maintenance or not. I'll try to cover that as I go through each option to give you an idea. And of course, we are dealing with technology products, so everything is subject to change. Now, first of all, on the EM, I'm sorry, on the end of life status with RMS, this is Microsoft's website, and this is their notes on Microsoft Dynamics Retail Management Headquarters, HQ. So you can see here that mainstream support ends July of 2016. Now what that means is sales to new customers will stop at that point, and the program goes into kind of an extended support mode, which will ultimately end in July of 2021. But the key thing here is the sales ending. I mean, the program is basically, it's, it's being phased out, retired, end of life, et cetera. And then the information for Dynamics Retail Management System Store Operations, or RMS version two is pretty much the same. Mainstream support, sales and mainstream support and I should say sales for new customers and mainstream support July of 2016 with extended support ending in July of 2021. So I'm not making up anything regarding to the end of life status with RMS. So there you go, as it exists right on the Microsoft website. So next step, option number one, do nothing. Um, obviously, there's no real cost in the short term for doing that. Um, this would be a suitable option if you're, well, one, if you're not taking credit and debit card payments, or two, if you already have a separate terminal that's not connected to the software for processing debit and credit card transactions. Now, if you are using RMS and the EDC and RMS admin, to process debit and credit card transactions, keep in mind, if you do nothing and you do not have the EMV hardware, or basically you know the hardware for processing chip-based transactions, you're looking at these potential things, loss of revenue. You know, if there's a fraudulent charge for 75 bucks, you're out the 75 bucks, but then you're also out any charge back fees, potential loss of revenue because someone will probably mention it in the media or social media or things like that. So there goes your reputation. And of course, thieves are going to be looking for who does not have the right equipment 
and you'll be the target. And, you know, in the end, you'll probably just have to end up upgrading. So better to do it now than to do nothing and then face potential um, liability and revenue losses. And then plus we have to think, you know, if you do nothing, what other new standard or requirement is coming going to come around in 2016 or 2017 or beyond. So that was option one. Option two is to use or keep using separate terminals not attached to RMS for chip card transactions. Many of you already have these. It's basically it's a standalone credit and debit card terminal. So obviously in this situation you would just upgrade to a new terminal that also takes the chip-based transactions. So there's a very low cost here. My main concerns, and this is based not just on assumptions, but actually seeing this and, and having worked in retail management, it opens the door for data entry errors. So if the total cost of the sale is $14.50, the employee may enter the total on the terminal as a buck forty-five or a hundred and forty-five. You know, it just creates poor customer service, especially if it's higher, and creates issues where you then you have to go and contact the customer and rerun the card and all sorts of fun and then even if all the transactions are entered correctly you still have to reconcile two reports as part of your daily closeout process so there's an extra step there maybe minor if you don't do a lot of transactions but you know if you're doing 30 40 50 transactions a day it's kind of a pain you know at the end of the day when you just want to go home to have to reconcile these reports that's option two. Option three, there are some payment gateways that you can use with RMS. And this would allow you to still meet the requirements for the chip cards. There's very low cost and it's a good short-term fix. It also gives you the security for the processing the chip-based transactions. But you have to keep in mind that these companies charge per transaction for use of their payment gateway. The amounts vary, so I'm not even gonna guesstimate what it would cost, but you know you can add it up if you take even just one or two cents a transaction times number of transactions a day times number of days you're open, you can see how that would add up over time. And examples of these payment gateways are companies like Shift4 and Mercury. Option number four, upgrade to retail realm essentials. Nice option here is the data from RMS can be transferred into Retail Realm Essentials. It's a very robust and feature rich program. However, there are some high costs because the, the technology required to run a program like Retail Realm Essentials, for example, you need SQL Server. Uh, Retail Realm Essentials is best suited for RMS and H2 users with multiple locations, having annual gross sales over 1.5 million per location and you either have an actual IT staff or you have good IT resources, maybe someone part-time or contracted with a local computer company, things like that. And if you are using HQ along with RMS, there is a free license swap option to Retail Realm Essentials. However, again, you have to be using HQ and you have to be current on your annual software maintenance. If you're not current, you, know, you can still buy it, but you lose that you know, $1,200 or $1,300 advantage of being current on your maintenance and getting the license swap. So there's a good example of annual software maintenance why you need to stay current on it. By not paying that annual fee, you lose out on options when things like this happen. Option number five is actually a pretty exciting one. It's the new Retail Management Hero point of sale program. I, they probably don't like me saying this, but basically it's RMS version three, keeping a very similar database, but updating the user interface, you know, what you see, the look and feel of the program, plus adding, you know, commonly requested features and functions. Because of the similar database, your data can be transferred. Costs, I'm gonna call it medium costs, because it depends on what you have for your existing hardware. You know, the age of your computers, what type of cache drawers you have, receipt printers, barcode scanners, data collection devices, all those things. Obviously, there's a huge potential with Retail Management Heroes, a point of sale program, just given its 
as a logical upgrade from version 2 to version 3, quote unquote, for RMS. Like Retail Realm Essentials, Retail Management Hero will have some license swap options. Again, you have to be current on your annual software maintenance to take advantage of these license swaps or these license upgrades. So not to reiterate, but I do want to stress this is why folks need to stay current on software maintenance. Uh, initial indications are that Retail Management Hero will have a cloud-based headquarters option or multi-location option. The biggest disadvantage or biggest downside to Retail Management Hero is that indications right now are that it will not be available until late 2015 or early 2016. So that puts us past EMV as far as the EMV liability shift date of October 1st. It'd be great if it was available sooner, but it is technology. It takes time to code and test and develop and test and revise and then bring it out to market. And even then, you know, do you want to be a, one of the first folks to use it in a store? Um, you know, it's always good to wait until at least one revision or one update is available to take care of all those initial bugs and things that crop up with any software program. Option number six has been pretty popular, and that involves switching to the Bindo point of sale system. I found this to be popular with RMS users looking for a cloud-based point of sale system. There is the ability to transfer your data from RMS into Bindo. And this has some medium costs because you do need to get new hardware like your cash drawer, your receipt printer, barcode scanner, things like that. It is a mobile solution, so there's a huge advantage there if you have a mobile business. And I do want to stress that even though Bindo is mobile, basically iPads are used for selling and then you use any device, preferably, you know, a PC or a Mac with an internet browser for any of your management functions, you know, like you're purchasing and you're receiving and, and things like that. Um, now you can just use an iPad if you're a smaller business, but it's nice to have the browser. And of course you can do that anywhere. You don't have to be at the business, you know, you can be home or on the road, things like that. And then our last option is option number seven, and that's switching to the NCR Counterpoint SQL point of sale program. I've personally been involved with a handful of businesses that have upgraded from RMS to Counterpoint. Um, you know, your data can be transferred. The features and functions in NCR Counterpoint are very similar to RMS, but you pick up some additional things like a loyalty program. And then Counterpoint offers a whole suite of options like an iOS, which is, you know, iPad, iPhone, etc., app for offsite sales or line busting. So that's cool if you need something for special events or sidewalk sales, or you're going to a trade show, expo, conference, farmer's market, <laughs> take your pick. Um, Counterpoint is also well-suited for both single and multi-location businesses. One thing I always tell RMS users with HQ is that Counterpoint, you don't have those worksheets in, like you do in HQ for doing all the multi-location functions. And again, we kind of have medium costs because it's going to depend on your existing hardware, like your, your computers and then your peripherals, like your, again, your customer pull display and signature capture pads and receipt printers, cash drawers, barcode scanners, barcode label printers, all that fun stuff. So that was option seven, which was our last option. So here's kind of a quick summary. Do nothing and you'll likely pay the price at some point. Use or continue using separate credit and debit card terminals and just make sure that you have one that works with the chip cards. Again, that's a lower cost solution, but you pick up some potential for errors and things like that. We have the payment gateways that work with RMS, which again is a lower cost solution. Just keep in mind, they're gonna take a few cents of every transaction. Plus, then you're still not dealing with the ultimate end of life situation with uh, RMS and HQ. We have the Retail Realm Essentials program, which is a higher cost option, but well suited for multi-location, higher volume businesses. 
And we do again have the license swap options if you're using HQ and you're current on your software maintenance. We have the new Retail Management Hero program. Again, has huge amount of potential, but the timing unfortunately just isn't there at this point, being it's um, not going to be available till late this year or early 2016. We have the Bindle point of sale. Um, I've worked, or I haven't worked, I don't work. <laughs> uh, I've been in touch and have had feedback from about five or six RMS users that have upgraded to Bindle point of sale. They really love it. They didn't really have very high technology needs. They like the mobile aspect and, and, and honestly, like they like the cool aspect of having the sleek iPad instead of a clunky PC sitting at the checkout counter. And then our last option was NCR Counterpoint SQL. Getting personal experience with this one, RMS users like it. They like picking up some of the additional features and functions. They like the flexibility of the program. And it does have, I guess I would say, more of a touchscreen friendly interface than what RMS has. You know, RMS does have that little pop-up window or touch screen, but Counterpoint is a true customizable touch screen. I've even seen it used, used in some places with limited concession service or maybe a, a deli with some basic counter service, seafood markets, places like that. So those are your options as it sits right now. Uh, as far as next steps, you know, obviously you need to start looking at your different options. And by all means, if I can help, uh, please get in touch with me. You know, this is free and unbiased advice and information. I'm happy to make introductions to trusted sources for all the different options that I've mentioned. Uh, a lot of these sources do offer discounts. Uh, we're not talking nominal discounts, we're talking significant discounts. This for RMS users, I should clarify that. <laughs> And just so you know, I do have 15 years of experience with point of sale systems, plus actual real world retail management experience. You know, I've, I've managed retail stores, so this isn't, I've been on both sides of the counter, I guess you could say. Um, and I've already been contacted by 721 businesses and organizations using RMS, which about a dozen have been also using HQ. So I'm, again, not making this stuff up. It's real world experience and also talking to you folks. I'll put my contact information in the video description. So if I can help, please get in touch with me. Thanks.